Hey friends, it is evening here on the farm. I just finished up evening chores and thankfully noticed, you know, we're always checking ligaments around here whenever it's close to a goat's due date. Thankfully I did tonight because Star's ligaments were totally gone. And that means she is up in the birthing pen about to give birth. So Sweet Star is a first freshener, and that means she has never had a baby before. And so I am just so, so excited to see what she's got in store for us. But it may be a long night because just because she's lost her ligaments does not mean labor is eminently starting. It means it's starting pretty soon. She probably needs to be isolated. I need to have my kidding kit ready, which thankfully I did. But all these things need to be in place because she could go into labor really any time now and I want to make sure that I am well prepared but for now it's time to go get the kids tucked into bed the human kids and then I'm gonna set up the baby monitor into the barn so that I can give a good listen to star all night to see when labor progresses All right, you guys, it is like 11 o'clock at night and I am out here doing one last check of Star before I go to bed. Hey, Star. So those ligaments are definitely totally gone and it looks like the baby has dropped in her stomach too because she's a little bit hollowed out on the sides, if you can see that. But uh, even still, no discharge yet and really no signs of like contractions or anything. So I think that I have several hours. So I'm going to go get some good sleep and check her again in the morning. Good morning. It is the next day. Sweet Star did not bless us with any kids overnight, which I really appreciate because I got a good night's sleep last night. <laughs> But um, she's even let us go out and milk all the goats this morning, so all the chores are done. And she is in very active labor now, so I'm hoping kids will be on the ground really soon. So Star has been up and down all morning. She can't get comfortable. She's been pawing at the ground a lot, making little beds for herself. Her sides are super sunken in here. She's also a nice chunky goat, so it's not too obvious. You're beautiful. No discharge yet, but her ligaments, I mean, they are gone, gone. There is nothing there. And more than anything, she's been talking to her babies. Later. All right. Pushing. And lots of discharge and a bubble. So it's in this moment, as the bubble is presenting, that I realized I forgot towels. You guys, I cannot remember towels. So thankfully it's warm. The baby will dry off quickly. It's gonna be fine. Good girl. Good bubble, I see hooves. Everything looks great. Good girl. Good girl, Star. So I definitely see a hoof and a face, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not sure about that other hoof, so I'm gonna go ahead and break the sack so I can kind of get a better picture of what's going on. Good girl, you did it! Good girl! 
You got a pretty little baby there. So Star is a first time mom and she's a little bit hesitant to lick. So I'm trying to help her out, get a little goop on my fingers and then show it to her and she's starting to lick. Oh, maybe, maybe, yes. That is exactly what these goats need for mama to bond with baby is a lot of licking so that they clean that off. They really get that smell in their nose of this is what my baby smells like. This is perfect. Good girl. So if this is not your first goat kidding video from our farm that you've seen, you know that normally I dive in there. I cannot wait to find out if it's a boy or a girl, what color are the eyes, is it pulled, is it horned? I love babies so much and I cannot wait to find out everything I can about them. But with Star's slow start to, to begin licking and bonding with her baby, I do not want to interrupt anything in their bonding process right now. The last thing I want is for Star to reject her kid because I intervene too much. That would be a nightmare. Not only is it just not great because I want her to, you know, we, we love our goats to be damn raised. It's good for the moms, it's good for the babies. But in addition, if a mom rejects her baby, that is a three month commitment to I mean, multiple times a day, feeding a bottle baby, it is a huge undertaking that I would rather pass on right now. So I'm really, really happy that she seems to be doing great with her baby back here. And I'm gonna let them bond a few more minutes before I go find out if it's a boy or a girl. All right, I've got the area where she gave birth kind of cleaned out. There was a lot of goop and I wanted a nice fresh spot for this new baby to lay, not in that goop. This baby's gonna be trying to stand up and I don't want him or her to be slipping and falling in that goop while they're trying to stand up. So got him a nice fresh spot, all that stuff is cleaned up. Also a lot of mamas sometimes will get distracted from cleaning their babies and get sidetracked trying to clean up all that goop off the ground. That's not helpful bonding. So we want to make sure that mama stays focused on her baby. But now that we have a nice dry spot, mama's been doing an excellent job of taking care of that baby. I want to find out if it's a boy or a girl. What's he got for us? It's a little girl. Yay! Oh, you're so precious. All right, a little girl. She has blue eyes. She should be pulled because she's coming from Ellen and Ellen only gives us pulled babies, which is super nice. So she, yes, she's pulled, pulled and blue eyed. Oh, and she's lovely. Ellen also loves to give us lookalikes. So she looks a lot like daddy. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> Thanks, Star. Well, that's gross. <laughs> there we go, a little bit better. <laughs> Well, 
Well, I've got to say, I think that that was one of my favorite kiddies. One baby, which is my favorite. Ooh, and let me share with you guys how I'm pretty sure it's just one baby. So after she had this first baby, uh, this little girl, uh, normally it'll either be nothing or you'll go ahead and see that second bubble coming out. On Star, she has what we call like the water bag or it's just, it's the little bag of water that's connected to the placenta. Now, if there was a bubble that had some sort of body part in it, clearly that would be another baby. The way that this hangs and it's just kind of like a half filled sack, that's the placenta. That's a, just a, a water bag attached to the placenta. And that means we're done. So thankfully, just one baby for Star, which I love. <laughs> She came in a perfect presentation. She had both feet forward, nose forward. I mean, great, especially for a first time mom. Star definitely had a little trouble with her, but not bad. It was not bad at all. We had kind of that momentary scare with Star not really licking, but that's honestly incredibly common for first time moms. They don't know what just happened. Something hurt, something came out the end of them, and now there are all these, you know, flood of hormones and they just don't know what's going on. And so sometimes they're in shock just for a few minutes and need a little time to kind of reorient, figure out what's going on. And then she jumped right into licking her baby, bonding. She's let her nurse. She's doing phenomenally well. So it is about 10 o'clock in the morning still. She did have her baby pretty early, which is nice, but it's already 90 degrees outside. And so, I mean, on the plus side, that was great. When I forgot the towels, it was no need to panic because I knew that mama would dry her off pretty quickly. And even if she stayed wet for a few minutes, it's not cold enough. There's no, you know, harsh, cold wind for me to be worried about her getting hypothermic. So it really was an okay scenario considering I forgot the towels. <laughs> but I'm also going to make a note to myself for the next two cleanings we have in a couple weeks. Don't forget the towels. So at this point, you know, the last thing I always want to watch for when we have new babies is, ah, ouch, I don't have an udder, is can they find mama's udder on their own? She is pretty well convinced that I might have one and keeps coming back to me and headbutting me in the knees but uh, I need her to be able to grab onto her mama's teeth on her own before I can go inside and be sure that she'll be okay for the day. She's been successful in latching on a couple of times when I helped her. So I know that she's got, you know, we're not in a danger zone or anything that she hasn't gotten her colostrum. She's gotten a few sips of it, but I wanna make sure that she can do it by herself so that she will be drinking all day long with mama. She did it. Just out, that was so great. Excellent. Oh, I'm thrilled by that. Okay, well, this baby is doing phenomenally well then. I'm just, I'm, I'm tickled by that, that was great. So we've got another sweet little girl on the farm now, which is so exciting. She is blue eyed and pole. And I've got to say, now that she's dried off, I think I have to amend what I said earlier, that she looks like dad. I think that she doesn't. So dad is a chamose. I'll throw up a picture of Ellen so that you guys can see. He's got a beautiful chamose pattern and he's put that on a lot of his kids. But Star back here is actually what's called Bizor. She actually is Bizor with white and she has one moon spot on her back, which cracks me up. And so it looks like she gave her Bizor, um, coloration to the baby. So baby also has the same frosted ears. She's got a little bit of white on her pole. She's super, super cute. Once she's totally dry, we'll know for sure on the moon spots, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any moon spots. Honestly, that's totally fine. Moon spots are just decoration. They don't really do anything, but they are pretty to look at. Okay, come see all the people. You are so stinking cute. Please don't bite me. Star has decided I also need to be licked. And sometimes she gets a little bit too mouthy with it and uses those bottom teeth to lick me. It's a little bit painful. So we're trying to not do that. So this is our sweet, sweet. Oh my goodness. 
I'm not taking you anywhere. You're okay. This is our sweet new little girl. She has blue eyes. She is cold. Ouch, star. <laughs> and she is gorgeous. Oh, she is so pretty. I think that she may have some roaning, which is that light hair mixed in. You know, white hair so kind of makes a lighter color. Oh, you're cute. You're cute, cute. Now, she needs a... Okay, I'll let you go back with Mama while I talk to the people. How about that? You want to go with your Mama? So she needs a really great name to go with her Mama. Mama's Star. And so I need your suggestions for great names for the sweet baby. You guys, I'm sitting here video editing so that you guys can see this birth ASAP. And I hear sounds on my monitor. You guys, this garbage goat. Do you see it? There's the baby. Oh, but look. There's the other baby. Ah. Uh. So I guess I need to get out to the barn to see baby number two. <laughs> Star. Did you make another baby? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Star. Oh, that is a precious baby. You guys, I am just, I'm floored. It's, it's two hours after she had that first one. I have never had that big of a gap. I'm, I'm terrified now that maybe baby number two was positioned poorly and stuck, but you guys, she had signs of placenta coming out. I, I'm totally at a loss. This baby is still wet, but is standing. So he's been around, you know, at least a few minutes. <sighs> These stinkers, they will not let up with their terrible behavior. <laughs> well, come on. I got to see if this is a boy or a girl. Hi, little one. Oh, your little pink nose is driving me crazy. It is so cute. Oh, my goodness. I know, I know. Oh my goodness, twin girls. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Look at you, brown eyes. You look, I mean, so much like your mama. And pulled, you gotta be pulled. Yeah, everything's pulled. Oh my goodness, beautiful. You are gorgeous, little girl. So I won't show you because some people think it's kind of gross, but most animals eat their placenta. Star is over here right now eating her placenta. Um, my best guess is that these two babies had two separate placentas. That's not super common, but it, it's possible. And so I probably should have waited around and not been so positive when I saw the signs of placenta number one coming out because my guess is it came out, she ate it, and then she started laboring with baby number two. What's she gonna do, guys? Like, what do you do? I, I can't be mad at her. Did you see how cute that little girl is? She is so adorable. I absolutely cannot believe that she had another. They are doing great. I'm so thrilled. Number two is a loud one for sure. She's been uh, been yelling at mom that she's not feeding her well enough. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just can't believe she had another one in there. She was so little. I mean, she was so little. Goodness, star. Come take a look at these adorable sisters, though. Oh, goodness. That's not where mama's teats are. Oh, show how cute you are. Oh, the ears. You're adorable. Are you taking a nap already? It was hard work being born, huh? These two girls are so precious. 
Oh my goodness. Okay guys, well apparently I need not one name, but two, because I've got baby number one over here, who's a cute little girl. She's the one who came out in a reasonable amount of time. And she needs a name. And we also have baby girl number two over here, who is just spitting image of her mama. Super, super cute. Oh my goodness. They're both so loud and talkative, which is really good at this age. Nice, healthy lungs. But you guys, I need names for these girls. So tell me, baby one needs a name, baby two needs a name. Mama is, mama's name Star. And we would love more star themed names. So in the comments below, leave us your suggestions. Well, what an absolute whirlwind, you guys. I cannot believe that she ended up with two babies instead of just the one. And that there was such a huge time gap from baby number one to baby number two. So here's your reminder, whether you own goats or not, if you want to know anything about goats, know that they don't play by the rules. They don't. They make up their own rules and then they break those too. <laughs> Guys, goats, goats will keep you on your feet for sure. They will make sure that you never know what's coming next. And that's part of the fun. You just never know what's going to come up next with goats. And sometimes those surprises in life are fun, especially with goats. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go inside because this day has been a little bit of a roller coaster, but I'm going to spend a few more minutes with these sweet babies first. Please do leave us comments below with your suggestions for name ideas because we got two to name now. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.